conseguir el brillo requerido por una producción como esta, los realizadores de la cinta sabían que necesitaban una superestrella encabezando el elenco. Fue así como lograron convencer a Cher, con algo de esfuerzo, de regresar a la gran pantalla luego de siete años de ausencia para interpretar a Tess en burlesque. Show a little more Show a little less Add a little smoke Welcome to burlesque I mean, Cher is one of those people that you kind of always wanted to meet, that every young man had a crush on, and still does. And um, she is exactly a, as I'd hoped she'd be, which is really smart, caustically funny, and very talented. Did you ever do this again? No. Uh -uh. You know, there's only one man that I could see spending the rest of my life with. And unfortunately, except for a really drunk night in Reno, 25,000 years ago, he bats for the other team. Oh, no. He bats for the pink team. Yes. I mean, hello, Oscar winner. I mean, I couldn't have learned from anyone better as a teacher. She inspired me. She really approached me from day one with open arms, and that meant the world to me, being a first time. Uh, actress in my first movie. It was huge that uh, I got the support that I did from her. And uh, there were many times where we were sitting on a couch on the side of the room where they would be like, okay, enough talking already. Like, we have to get this shot. It's one o'clock in the morning. And it was just, um, it was just so natural to be able to bond with uh, her on a very personal level. I can do this. And I think that it's sweet that you think you can. She just walks into the room and brings it, you know? She just, she just has it, man. You know, she has, she's Cher, you know? And no one knows how to be Cher better than Cher. And she really knows what's right for Cher, too. And um, her instincts are incredible, and her process is inspiring. And not only that, she, you know, I mean, it's all of that, of course, that we know. She brings something into the room with her that's, that's intoxicating. Did anybody ever give you a shot in life? Please, I want this so bad. If you just give me a chance, I... Let me... All right, God. You got the job. Además de una larga trayectoria musical, Cher no ha dejado de cosechar éxitos en el campo cinematográfico. Gracias a su papel de Tess en Burlesque, el popular teatro chino de Los Ángeles le otorgó un puesto en la historia junto a las celebridades más importantes de la industria. Sure. First off, um, welcome to e Entertainment Television Latin America. Thank you. And I have to say, you totally won me over with this movie. You're just so cool on, on camera, and I just had a wonderful time. Um, it's been seven years since you've done film, right? Right. So what, what caught your eye with this um, film or this character that you wanted to come back? Uh, because I have always wanted to sing in a film, you know? I mean, that's something that where you can marry the two things that you love doing. Um, and they don't make, you know, there's not very many musicals. And uh, I was offered a part in, in Mamma Mia, but I was working, I was on tour at the time, so I couldn't do it, which was kind of sad. But then this came along, and I liked the character, and I think she's funny. And I wanted to work with Stanley, you know, because I really love his acting. I think he's such a great actor. So there was a number of things that, you know, worked out. You like her. Admit it. I know no, it kills you. you know, but she you have holds to admit focus. It. Mm -hmm. She doesn't blend in. A girl that doesn't blend in. Come on. That is so beneath you. We started working on the character and working on on her part in the script, and so 
I I think it kind of take it turned out okay. I think that it's really um, fun. That's what I think it is. I think that more than anything else, it's beautifully you know beautifully shot. The girls are beautiful. The girls are great dancers, you know, and and there's great acting from these young girls too. So I think that you know I think it's just a fun movie. You go there and I think it's exciting. Great. No, it definitely is. Now, does this mean you're gonna we're gonna see more of your music again or we're gonna see more of your acting again? I haven't acted in a long time and and I forgot that I really enjoy it. And, and that you're great at it. Well, I forgot that I really <laughs> enjoy it, that's for sure. This was the first script in a long time that I'd seen where I thought, boy, I could really have a good time doing this. I think it you know, it suits me. I I love acting. It's just that there's not many things that come my way that I think, oh boy, I want to do this. So, um, and I'd like to do something else with Stanley too, because I loved working with him so much. You have great chemistry on, on camera. Right. You look just perfect together. Well, you know, we had a great chemistry off camera too, and it just translated. Well, it's like all truly great love affairs. Yeah. Tragic. It wasn't Rena, it was Tahoe, baby. And it was lovely. Get a room. Get away. We love you in Latin America. You're what we call a mamacita. You know what that is? No. A pretty, pretty babe. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had um, the desire to sing in Spanish? You know, I, I actually have. I've sung in Italian. Yeah. And, and I've actually thought about singing in Spanish. And I think it would be really fun. I, I have to tell you something. I, when I went to Mexico City, they were a great audience. It was one of the best audiences I've ever played for. And I would love to go back there. Well, we hope to have you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Espero hayan disfrutado de todo el brillo, glamour y sensualidad de nuestro e-special Burlesque. Soy John Paul Ospina y desde Amapola Cabaret en la Ciudad de México me despido. Hasta la próxima. You should see the movie because it's really fun. It's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful movies I've ever seen. Here come the ladies out to give a little show. Beautiful people wearing not much, having spent their lives trying to be excellent at what it is they do, dancing or singing or whatever, it is, their lives. There is a lot of eye candy. I've noticed that on the set. Yeah. There's some really gorgeous women in here <laughs> in this movie uh, and some good-looking men, too.